So you just bought all your implements, you're getting ready to hook everything up, and you notice this right on your top link. Why is there three holes in my top link? Well, stay tuned here at the Clinch River Homestead, and we're gonna talk about that and more coming up next. So I get a lot of questions asked by people, how do you adjust this top link? Well, the screw portion is pretty self-explanatory, but when they hook it up to the tractor, you've got three holes there. What are they for? What do they do? How do you use them? Let's talk about that right now. So the three holes that are on the top of this top link here is all about leverage and how it leverages the implement that you have on the back of your tractor. When you have this in, adjusted in your top hole, so that top hole is the least aggressive of your attachment points. What I mean by that is, you have to look at this as a pivot point. This top link doesn't move up and down, it stays in one position. The only thing that does move is the bottom links. So as this is in the bottom hole, perfect position for a box blade, if you imagine this down here now, and as that box blade is wanting to come down on the surface, you get more tilt because your attachment point is lower in the back. So versus if your attachment point was higher, you'd have a more gradual down. And by the way, if you like the content that you're watching today and you'd like to see more just like this, hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. You'll get notified on all of our future videos. And if you like to support the algorithm, smash that thumbs up button. So if you just wanna know the basics of where to put this when you're using what implements, the best advice I can give you on that is if you're mowing grass or, or um, something that you don't need a lot of down pressure on, down pressure is key. If you don't need that down pressure force, your top adjustment hole on your top link is going to be the best choice for you. The more down pressure you need, being a box blade or a post hole digger, an auger, you're going to want to put that in your bottom link. That's going to give you the most aggressive angle on that implement so that you can get the best cut into the ground. So I think we're gonna wrap up the video today. I hope I explained it uh, well enough for you on how to adjust your top link of your three-point hitch and what these top three holes mean. I hope you got some great information out of this. I wanna thank everybody for joining us here at the Clinch River Homestead. And uh, as always, if you like that video, smash that thumbs up, hit the subscribe and tick that little bell. You'll get notified on all of our future videos. Thanks again for joining us here at the Clinch River Homestead. We'll see you on the next one.